for K-drama fans, this year will be full of treats thanks to a slew of new and upcoming dramas this 2021. With so many K-dramas, you won't have to worry about not getting your K-drama fix this year. Here are the lists. Number 1 She Would Never Know She Would Never Know is based on a popular 2017 web novel called Sun Bay, Don't Put On That Lipstick. It tells the love story between a sweet senior and a bold junior at a cosmetics company. Won Jina takes on the role of Yoon Sung Ah, a professional brand marketer at a cosmetics company who dreams of having her own cosmetics brand. SF9 Ro Woon will play Chai Hyun Soong, a good-looking marketer who is straightforward with his words. Number 2. Luca, The Beginning. The title contains an acronym which stands for Last Universal Common Ancestor and the drama's storyline is inspired by Charles Darwin's proposition that all species of life descend from a common ancestor. The plot focuses on Geo played by Kim Ray Won, a stoic man who has supernatural powers but does not know who he is. Meanwhile, Gurum played by Lee Dahi is a detective whose parents disappeared when she was younger. As she tries to uncover the truth behind her parents' disappearance, she comes across Gio and her life starts to change. Number 3. The River Where the Moon Rises The series tells the love story between Princess Pyongyang and Andel, who are characters in a classic Gregorio folktale. Princess Pyongyang played by Kim So Hyun who was born as a princess, but raised to be a person who killed a sinner also known as Yim Ga Jin, an ambitious woman who dreams to re-establish the status of Gregorio and be the first female Tae Wang of Gregorio. However, she uses on Dao's feelings played by Na and Wu for her to achieve her goals. Number 4. Sisyphus, The Myth. This tells the story of a genius engineer named Hong tae played by Cho Soong Wu, who tries to uncover the truth behind his older brother's death, and a mysterious woman called Gang Seo he played by Park Shin Yi, who travels back in time to help him save the world from imminent danger. It will be Park Shin Yi's comeback drama after last starring in Memories of the Alhambra with Hyun Bin. She also recently starred in the movie Hashtag Alive, which became one of the most streamed movies on Netflix. Number 5. Beyond Evil. Beyond Evil tells the story of two fearless men in pursuit of a returning serial killer. As Lee Dong Sik played by Shin Ha Kyun and Han Ji Won played by Yeo Jin Gu unravel the mystery behind the murderer's identity, they are forced to question all suspects even when they seem innocent, including themselves. The two work together to solve the 20-year-old case, but soon learn about each other's secrets and are caught in a mind game of discovering who is the real monster. Number 6. Vincenzo. Vincenzo is a romance comedy about two lawyers, Park Joo Hyun played by Song Joon Ki and Hong Chai Young played by Ji and Yeo Bin. Joo Hyun was adopted at the age of eight and grew up in Italy. He becomes a lawyer, under the name of Vincenzo Cassano, and works for the Mafia as a consigliere. However, when a war breaks out between Mafia groups, he is forced to flee to South Korea. Vincenzo meets Chai Young by chance and soon falls in love with her, putting the two lawyers into a budding romance amidst their pursuit of justice. Number 7. Love Alarm Season 2. The first season of Love Alarm attracted viewers with its unique concept of confessing through an app that sends a notification when there's an admirer within a 10-meter radius. The second season will develop the love triangle between Hwang sun -ho played by Song Kang, Kim jo, jo played by Kim So-hyun, and Lee Young played by Jong Gar-am, who are now adults. Longing for resounding proof of her feelings, Kim jo, jo sets out to uninstall the shield and make the app ring for her one true love. Number 8. Oh, Master. This is a romantic comedy revolving around Han bai Su played by Lee min Ki, a drama screenwriter, and Oh ju played by Nana, an actress who acts in romantic comedy dramas. While bai Su chooses to be single, the actress struggles to date. A sweet, light-hearted romance plays out when the two meet and end up living in the same house. Number 9. Sell Your Haunted House. 
Sell Your Haunted House is a drama about real estate brokers who exercise ghosts from buildings in which people have died. The two main characters, Hong Jia played by Jang Nara and Owen Bian played by Jong Young meet each other in the course of work and end up working together to learn the secret behind Jia's mother's death 20 years ago. Jang Nara will play Hong Jia, an exorcist who's also the boss of Daebak Real Estate. While Jong Young will play Owen Bum, a con artist who does not believe in ghosts but uses them to make money. This drama will be Jong Young Wa's first drama in three years since the package. Number 10. Dark Hole. Dark Hole is a sci-fi thriller that tells the story of a monster who hides in a sinkhole in Muji City, consuming people's souls. Lee Hwa Sun, a detective from the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, receives a call from a woman in Muji City who had murdered her husband. Upon arriving in Muji City, she discovers a mysterious dark smoke that turns people into monsters when they inhale it. Meanwhile, Yu Tae Han, a former detective who lives in Muji City, joins Hua Sun to save people from the terrible phenomenon. While the two go on the quest to find the horrible creature, they slowly find themselves turning into cruel monsters too. Number 11. Doom at Your Service. Tak Dong Kyung played by Park Bo Young, an editor for a web novel company, leaves a fairly ordinary life until she stumbles into an unexpected fate. All in a single day, she finds out she's dying from glioblastoma and has only three months to live, learns that her boyfriend is a father-to-be and is a wife, gets scolded by her superior at work, and is spied on by a pervert before. Drinking her problems away, she happens to see a shooting star from her rooftop apartment and drunkenly wishes for the world to be doomed. Her wish is heard by Miao Mang played by Seo and Guk, a messenger between gods and humans. He was born between dark and light, when he breathes, countries disappear, when he walks, the seasons collapse. When he smiles, a life is extinguished. All he has to do is exist for something to fall into ruin. This is not his intention but simply his fate. On his birthday, he gets to choose a human's wish to fulfill. Sick of his fate, he chooses to fulfill Dong Kyung's wish to end the world. Dong Kyung ends up signing a hundred-day contract with Miao Mang, risking her everything. Number 12. Hospital Playlists 2. This is a drama that follows the lives of five doctors who are also longtime friends. This drama gives us a realistic insight into the lives of medical professionals and allows us to empathize with them. Every day is extraordinary for five doctors and their patients inside a hospital, where birth, death and everything in between coexist. Number 13. Nevertheless. It tells the story of two people who are attracted to each other but are skeptical about love owing to their past relationships. An uncertain romance begins between a heartbroken woman who no longer believes in love and a flirtatious man who does not want to commit to a relationship. Number 14. Devil Judge. The series is set in a dystopian version of South Korea, where people harbor hatred towards their leaders and live in chaos. Trials are held through a courtroom live show aired on television. Number 15. Lovers of the Red Sky. The upcoming drama is set during the Joseon era. Hong Shin Ki is a female painter with a genius like painting talent. She is picked as the first female painter of the Duaseo. Hong Shin Ki also has a beautiful appearance and a bright personality. For her, painting is everything. One day, she meets Ha Ram. Ha Ram is an officer at the Sia Wu One, an office in charge of astronomy, geography, art of divination, and meteorology. When he was young, an accident caused him to become blind. Hong Shin Ki falls in love with him and she doesn't care that he is blind. Hong Shin Ki keeps appearing in front of Ha Ram and he finds himself waiting for her. The first episode will be aired on August 30, 2021. While waiting for the other upcoming dramas to be released, you can keep yourself occupied with these K-dramas. And I'm sure you're gonna love it and watch it over again.